And welcome back. This time we're heading into round three of the Open and Royal Troon. We are in the lead this time at 20 under, but we have 10 to 15 mile an hour winds to deal with. That should be interesting. If it's in our favor, we might actually be able to reach the green. EA Sports, on in conjunction some shots. with the RNA, present golf's oldest major and the final major championship of the year. Today, it's live third round coverage of the Open. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Nabilo is by my side. Oh, yeah, Out on the course, this. we've got Nota Begay the third and Iona there Stephen. There is a as we check distinct the Saturday leaderboard. we could reach the green. If we can somehow miss those bunkers. Our leader here on bunkers. Saturday is our featured golfer. His cushion is a full four shots as he gets set to see off. Uh-oh. Not when you go over there. All right. That's fine. Ah, rough off the tee, straight out of the gate. That's interesting. So much will depend on the lie. Um, sure. Do some spin. Oh, in the hole. Oh, that was close. That's the benefit of really bombing a tee shot down there. You get a simple little chip, you knock it close, and it looks like another birdie. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round, and he moves to 21 under par. If that had gone where we wanted it, moving it on, we come to easily have gotten on the green. Same thing here. Though, I I think there's too much protection there to actually... Oh, it's going absolutely dead straight. I think there's too much protection for it to actually reach the... Oh, it's an absolutely that going that ball. Oh, no. So the birdie at one and solid oh, you popped here out. At the, second. <gasps> <laughs> the big drive oh, got him here. Now a short one for his second. Okay, we're going to do... I think we're going to flop again. Wow, I can't believe that's kind of crazy. Do some spin because we do have a lot of wind. Oh, that rolled a little further than we'd like. Ten foot putt left. start to a round than this it is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two and that means he'll get it to 22 under par catch it catch it yes excellent okay oops we can certainly go over over all of that i mean normally we can anyway and now we're gonna actually have some wind behind us Oh, that looks good. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, and that what a shame. A well-placed bunker. It'll collect plenty of shots just <laughs> like that one as this indeed rolls into the sand. That's not what you like to see. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Okay, a good out, and that's what we'll be Just a little bit birdie. further over, and that also would have gotten to the green. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three, and he's going to move to 23 under par. Getting ready for hole number four. Wind is working with us here. Do a high fade. Gotta get it over. Even if we end up um, in the rough. Well, don't really want to end up in the rough. 
Ooh, that's gonna end up in the rough. This starting toward the right side. Yeah, it's not gonna work. You know, errant tee shot here, Rich, but you're gonna have to muscle this shame. one out of the rough. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's just let's just smash it onto the green. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that's that's going over. Oh, into the absolute thickest Just a bit junk too much possible. on the second shot on this par five five. Mm. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting it up and down for the birdie. Let's uh let's do a spin forward. That uh, could have been a little harder, but huh? oh, that's fine, totally fine. Not much to that. It is a birdie here at four. That's going to move him to 24 under par. And getting sent to tee off on this par three. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode or if this happened in between, but I actually swapped out. I realized that a whole bunch of my gear was not the best gear I had. So I switched everything out. I changed out my uh, three wood for a five wood. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, yeah, let's do something like that with lots of spin and land it right back here. Mm, that could. Eh, that's going to be long. Oh, he flushed that one, and that just got up in the breeze and took off on him. Now a delicate little chip here for his second. Uh, we'll do reduced spin. That's fine. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. Yeah, I think uh, the upgrade to our gear Forging ahead, helps. we come to the par five six. Didn't hurt anything. Now we can stay in the fairway. I mean, the wind is right at our backs. The possibility for a, an absolute huge tee shot, that might be in the rough. Yep. Roll out. Almost. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Just smash it down there, see if we can get it on the green. Not that way. That's gonna possibly be in that. No, it hopped out. Okay. Had the distance right, just a tad offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Yeah, it's not in the thick stuff, Rich, so that's um, advantage number one. Really lies pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a standard pitch. Uh, you know what? Every time I do that, I end up way errant. Yeah. Ooh, a real close. Nice, easy birdie. Okay, well done there. It's a birdie here at the sixth. And he's got it to 25 under par now. On to the seventh. So far, the I'm wind is not hurting us very much. Par four. A, there's a lot of downwind holes, so that doesn't hurt anybody at all. Oh, that's going straight for the stands. Could be okay though. Oh, it's 
Gotta have a bunker, but it's in the rough. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Run out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. I mean, yeah. Got some wind, so we're gonna land it a little short, but. Oh, and it rolls back towards the hole. Nice. Nah, nothing to it. Very well judged there. Chance now for another birdie. Ah, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. I got this really cool par three. I just love this this valley that we look at. Very nice. Um, okay, so we're gonna be needing a wedge. So wait, yeah, I switched to a wait a minute, I switched to a fifty one degree? I don't remember that. But okay. I'm gonna try and land it basically. There, we do have a lot of wind. Oh, that is so high. Ah, I just rolled off. That's too bad. Yeah, not quite enough on that one. It's going to take this slope and come back off the front of the green. Um, all right. This is sloping that way. Yeah, that's... That's all right. Not great, but fine. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll remain well in control of this tournament. One more par four to get through on this front side as we come to the par four ninth. We're gonna drive this really far really narrow actually i'm gonna do a bit of fade very narrow fairway and that might be turning too much yeah this up the right side off the tee roll out roll out yes could have been better but pulls back in the field terrible i guess it's better to be lucky than good yeah. Good break got him here. Now Pretty he's much. second to the par four. 60 degree with lots of spin. Landed a little short. Here we go. That's a little too short. No, that's perfect. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. A 29, too. First hold of the back nine, hole number 10. Um, I mean, that be fun. Not much going right there. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday at golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Right on the edge. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. I'm gonna do a uh, spin, because we do have a long club. We're gonna land it a little short, even with the wind. And then hit it too hard. No, that's too much. Or it could be good. Now the birdie here yesterday in their close. That's fine. Great opportunity for another one. Now this for another birdie. Okay. 
Okay, well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. And he moves to 28 under par. Dead into the wind. And we're not, not getting very far with this one. I'll try and overpower the elements. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. And right into the wind again. Yeah, we're going to do some spin. Land it there just a little bit right of everything. Chance. Oh, didn't roll as much as I would have liked. Hmm, that's going to be a long one. He ran in a long one a moment ago. This as well from downtown oh, for another birdie. Essentially straight. Oh my goodness. Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. And he'll get that score to minus 29. Moving on, we come to the par 4 12. We're just absolutely decimating the course today. I don't know. I don't know how this happened. Power drive with a high fade going there. Hopefully. Mm, that's going to be in the rough. This one's starting a little bit right. Or it might bounce out. Not quite. Ah, oh, so close. Yeah, so close be to being rough, real good. Was absolutely crushed. It is in the rough, but it appears to be a pretty good lie. Should have a go at this. His second now at the 12th. Got a lot of wind, but... Oh, this should be pretty decent? Oh, yeah. I'll take a little that. Short, little left, but inside 10 feet, so even I can't really criticize that. Even I cannot criticize that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And he's going to move to 30 under par. We're at the 13th hole now. Uh, same thing. I fade. Into the more or less into the middle of the fairway. If I can run down there, it'd be nice, but we are into the wind, so. And that is leaking. Well, that is right and way offline. Yeah, that didn't. That did not work out. Well, not this time. That no one's shame. in the rough. Might okay. be a tough shot coming up. Mm. So this ball sitting up okay, but a long way back for his second. How's that looking? Let's give that a shot. It's right into the wind. That might be okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a good shot, but does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, it oh, caught it. Yes, plenty of pace <laughs> to get up that slope. Oh my it is goodness. in for a birdie. And that score continues to impress. He is now at 31 under par. We're not even on Sunday yet. At this point, I can basically blow up on Sunday and it'll still be fine. Okay. Let's uh, land that. Hmm. How? Where do I actually want to land this? Eh, somewhere in there. That's a little bit shorter than I would like, but it might be okay. And high. Uh, nicely done, and that'll be a great birdie chance here at 14. 12 feet still to go. Oh, 
I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. And that's going to move him to, you ready for this, 32 under. Can you imagine if we actually had everything maxed out? Like, all the power, all the accuracy. If that was even possible, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Can you believe it? He's 77 under par on just the first round. Uh-oh. Right in the bunker. And that one I think not it, quite oh able to hang That's on. It's into the bunker. Mm. Okay, 60 degree. Wedge. Pitching wedge. How... Oh, really? That's as good as I can get? Ness, no approach, blast, kick, punch, knockdown, net. Okay, that's as far as we're getting it. <laughs> Did not get very far. Yeah, I mean, there's just, there was nothing I could do. I had the lip. I'll make this about 100 and, yards. Third shot. You know, that's all I could do. Ness. To uh, wedge. Do some, mm, maybe no spin, actually. I, look, come on now, I can't see. Oh, look at this. You can actually adjust it a little better. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Wait for it to drift back a little. Not quite that much. Right there. That's yeah, a little bit undercooked, but it might be okay. Maybe it's gonna spin back. Yeah. Right off the green. Oh no, it's actually puttable. Oof. Well. There's a big chance to get a bogey. Got it there, but not quite on target. I mean, when you hit literally the smallest, crappiest little bunker out in the middle of the fairway. Okay, a not bogey really that surprising. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Three holes remaining as we come to the tee at the par 5 16. Sadly, no, um, do regular drive and high spin. Wait, my thing is not reacting. Hello? Oh God. Well. Ha. Huh. Yeah, my my uh my joystick wasn't working. I don't know how to hack this out. Great. I try and yeah, my, I don't know what happened to my joystick. That was that was. Not good at all. Okay, so he'll fish that out of the rough and back onto the fairway, but still well out of position on this par five. I want to use my my wood. Maybe. Mm hmm. Lots of spin. I don't know. That's not really gonna work very well with that. That hell is it? Well, we'll give it a go. I mean, that's really not bad from. Really not bad. About that for a nice approach from way I out still have, a, I even have to do that big mess up, I still have tap. a birdie chance. Oh, no, I can't. Of course, I can just Ooh, blow it past the hole, too. Yeah, that'll leave just a couple of feet. Yeah, after that 
complete disaster. Okay, that'll be a shot. At 16. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. On the 17th hole, ready to play. Hope my uh, joystick does not continue messing up. All right, we've got a finesse shot with a five wood. I don't have any idea how this is going to play. Oh, that is way undercooked. What am I doing? Not even going to reach it. But you know what? If I hit it as hard as I want to, it's probably going to be off the, on the uh, green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Flop. How far are we? Mm. Long flop. Looks like right like that with a decreased spin. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was awful. Uh, just nothing really on that chip shot. You just, it's a waste. A waste of what? I didn't even get on the green. Oh no! How did that not drop? Mm. You know, you just. That Going along, everything's working out for 17. you. Everything's coming up. And it's going to be a rare lollipops shot. and rainbows and whatever unicorns. Oh, well, now to the finishing hole. Those two. It's the par four. And then 18. you start bogeying. Where are we? Where? Are we? Yeah, that's fine. We get a nice. T Why is it leaking so far left? I think it's going to be okay, but goodness. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Um, that's a lot of wind. We're gonna want spin, but we're also gonna no. no. We're gonna have to go with an eight with a six iron. Okay, we're gonna do it something like that. Yes, something like that. Well, this could be good. Yeah, that's not bad. It could have been a little closer, but. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And this has a little bit of uphill to it, working back to the right at the end. That might be too high. Oh, no. Oh, Could be right in the cup, too. Beauty in for birdie here at the last. Whew. So, who knows what the winds will bring on Sunday, but our featured golfer going to try and sleep on a 54 hole lead tonight in the Open Championship. Yeah, it, Rich, you and I have seen that little claret jug. It's not that big, isn't it? But I tell you, it looms large in front of you, that's for sure. And plus it's got, what is it, 150, 160 years of history on top of that. I mean, what an opportunity. Okay. Did we get any rewards for that? We didn't do anything particularly spectacular, so. I'm thinking probably not. Okay. All right, guys, we will see you in the next episode when we take on the final round of the Open, the last championship, uh, or last major, I should say, last major of the year. And then we'll be heading into the uh, FedEx Cup, I believe. All right, we will see you then.